Are you a small business owner that is struggling to come up with content ideas to post on your various social media accounts? Well, I was asked by my BNI group to make a presentation and I decided to make a presentation on that exact subject. So whether you're just getting started with your business and you're just getting started with your whole content creation game, whether you're using an iPhone, whether you're using a professional camera, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna share the exact same video that I shared with them and breaking down a couple different ways that you can come up with some social media content ideas to help generate traffic and more sales to your particular business. Let's get into the video. What's going on BNI? Okay, so first off, I know this is not the type of quality of video that you're used to seeing me in, especially on our Zoom calls and whatnot. I'm usually using my professional camera, but I wanted to use my iPhone just to kind of show you guys that if you wanted to make content to post online, that you can use your iPhone. It's not gonna be necessarily the professional quality that you, most people would desire, but if you did want to make your videos look a little more professional, you can hire a creator, someone like myself, to turn your videos from looking like this to looking like this. Now, obviously, a more higher quality of video is gonna appeal more to your higher paying clients and obviously will have a much higher engagement probability from putting a professional looking image out with a professional message to appeal to more customers so people can see that you are serious about what you do, you're serious about the quality of content and the quality of service that you're putting out to your customers, and that will in turn draw more eyes to your business. Okay, so now that the wow factor is out of the way, in terms of turning your iPhone footage into a professional looking setup like this, I wanna go into one of the number one questions I always get asked when I get hired to come out and shoot for a entrepreneur or a business owner. And that is, what type of video should I be creating and posting to get the most engagement and the most ROI in terms of drawing more eyes to your particular business and getting those people to hire you for whatever type of service that you provide. Now, before we get into the two reasons, I encourage each and every one of you watching this to go to your social media, start looking up other people that do what you do in terms of business and look at what they're doing and what's making them successful in terms of the type of stuff that they're posting, the quality of content that they're posting and get some ideas on what you can do for your particular brand. Now, I want you to be really careful when you do this though, because I don't want you to come to the realization when you're watching all these other people that are in your niche that are doing and putting out content on a consistent basis and you come to the realization that it's like I can't necessarily do what they're doing I don't even know where to start I'm too shy etc just keep in mind starting out you're not gonna be great at first but once you start getting the ball rolling and you do it consistently enough you're gonna start getting better and you're gonna start driving more people to your page and that will in turn make your business look that much more successful and will draw more people and more clients and more customers to make the most money as you can possibly make through social media platforms. Okay, so now let's get into the two main video ideas that any type of business owner can create starting today. Number one is educational content. Now some good educational video content ideas could be making a common mistakes video that you see your clients or customers making. Or you can make a video of other common mistakes that other people are making in your same profession to not generate as much business as they possibly can. Now, I always lose people when I say that because I know a lot of people don't necessarily want to put out free information, especially about what they do and how they do it so their competitors can kind of steal it and use that to grow their own business. But you also don't want to get into the mindset of withholding information and fear that nobody would want to work with you because everybody's just going to steal your ideas. In fact, with my own business, I found the exact opposite happening. So me and my girlfriend run our production business and lately we've been putting out educational content about how to kind of run a successful video production business and the feedback that we have been getting from people is we come off very professional very forthright and knowing what we're talking about which in turn makes clients and potential customers want to work with us more because they trust us and they trust in what we're doing and what we're selling and we're being completely transparent and what and the message that we're providing to them so in turn that would make us more appealing to them when considering hiring a professional videographer or photographer now the last idea for educational video content is frequently asked questions we can do these all day long i know a lot of business owners have a lot of people in their ear in their text messages in their dms always asking questions about different type of things in their niche that they can help provide information with now you can literally take the most common questions that you get asked on a daily basis and apply that into a 30 second to one minute video basically you just 
promote the question at the beginning of the video and then proceed to answer it. Now this will do two things. One, it will make you out to look like a professional that you are, knowing exactly what you're talking about and portraying yourself as being an expert in your field. Two, it would also help answer a lot of the questions that a lot of other people may have had, but are just scared to ask because they don't wanna come off as seeming like they don't know what they're talking about or they're unsmart or whatever the case may be. So when you put video content out there like that, it goes to the masses, everybody can consume it and you can get a lot of people's questions answered without necessarily having to come ask you personally. And that will in turn let people more acceptive of coming to you for more answers because you answered one of their questions that they've had for a long time that they just couldn't get answered. All right, now for the second video idea and that's testimonial. Now to this day, video testimonials are the most powerful way to tell potential clients and customers what type of experience they can expect when they hire you as a professional. Now, rather than reading written reviews where you can't necessarily feel the emotion of the person writing it. Now, don't get me wrong. Having written reviews are still nice and are important, especially when it comes to hosting those on platforms like Yelp and Google reviews. Now, most people are aware and know that a lot of those reviews can be doctored or even written by the business owner themselves. Now with a video, you're not only hearing a client's enthusiasm in their words, but you also get to see their body language, their facial expressions, and you can kind of get a sense of how genuine that review and their experience really is. Because let's face it, when somebody is getting fed lines, you can kind of get a sense of what they're saying is not being super genuine. Anyway, here's a quick example of that. Hey guys, so I got to work with Murtaza and he's just really nice and welcoming and he knows a lot of things um, that would benefit your guys' business. So you definitely should hit him up and I definitely recommend him to all of my friends and family. So yeah, just you know, hit him up as soon as possible. That was my girlfriend, Stephanie. And sorry to pick on you, Murtaza, but she doesn't know Murtaza, she never met him, so I, I told her to get on camera, make a review, and just try to be as contrite as possible. And we can all kind of get a sense that she didn't really know what she was talking about. Now, I know that's a little bit of a ridiculous example, I understand that, but I just wanted to kind of show that to kind of prove my point. And I also want to show you guys a testimonial that I filmed with my client a while back, and here's an example of that. We were introduced to Quay Potts, who offered to do some videos for us. And when I say that turned our, our marketing life around, I am not speaking in hyperbole. It totally changed everything. His videography is, is awesome. His time and commitment to it has it's made me look better. And I, and I literally mean made believe me look better because sometimes there's less lines on my face and I appreciate it, Quay. It is, uh, I don't like to post on Instagram. I get a little bit uncomfortable. I'm like, ah, oh, people aren't interested in my stuff. But the videos that Quay has done for me and they, they combine a little of me with me trying to get a professional message out and it's just been awesome. So uh, I don't want to recommend Quay too much because I want, to <laughs> I want him available for all of our work. But you can't go wrong with Quay Potts. His, uh, his videography work is phenomenal. So there you have it. Hopefully that example was enough of a reason for you guys to get the ball rolling and get some content going. Get some of your past clients and customers to step in and do a review for you that you can put online and then that you can generate and get to the masses. Because in terms of online, video is king. Now, because you can put a piece of content out, it can be shared by multiple people and now there are more multiple eyes looking at you and how you run your business because the people that they know and love are having these type of experiences. All right, so there you have it. I know some of those examples were specifically geared towards some of the members in my BNI group. So some of you guys might not have gotten a few of those references, but the information is the same. And I just wanted to give you guys some insights on some type of content ideas to help generate more traffic and more business through various social media platforms. So these are some ideas you guys can get started on today. And just remember that educational content is the most popular form of content right now that any type of business owner can start producing today. Just grab a camera, cell phone, whatever it may be, turn the camera on and just start 
telling people about what you do, how you do it, and that will in turn draw more people to your business. On the other side, the testimonial content, you can obviously do that with your cell phone as well, but if you wanted to get a more professional look, I would advise you guys to reach out to a video creative professional, whatever the case may be, to help you guys produce some of this content so your video content can look more professional to your potential customers. All right, so with all that being said, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. I've been all in my bag. You been all in my business. Uh, you be all in your feelings. Uh, I've been all in them trenches. Uh, I've been all in my bag.